thanks for uh, joining us today and welcome back to uh, Epic Liveaboard. Uh, today we are going to be, I just had a fish jump in front of me, uh, today we are going to be evaluating uh, dinghies. Uh, we're not sure that we need a dinghy yet, uh, but there's times when it would have been useful. Uh, we go up and stay on a mooring ball, uh, even though there's services, it, uh, it is kind of a nice convenience. Uh, to be able to have your own dinghy and come and go as you please instead of waiting for a water taxi. Uh, but they can also be a lot of trouble. Uh, you've got to have a way to haul them. Uh, you've got to um, make sure you're starting the engines all the time, especially if you use uh, gas engines. Uh, otherwise, you could have engine issues. I've been with friends many times in St. Augustine where they've had problems with their engines and uh, the dinghy becomes useless. So there's a lot of things like that, but we wanna make sure that we're taking it all into consideration. Uh, I think it's something that we are eventually going to purchase, uh, but it would be nice as we take a look at the different kinds out there uh, to see you know, not only the ease of operation, uh, but also if this is something we need to do at this particular time. So uh, with that said, let's go for a ride in a couple of dinghies. So the first one that we're going to test today is owned by a friend of ours uh, from the uh, yacht Defiant. It's an 11 and a half foot Carib and it has, it's made from Hypelon. It's a, it's a rib, so it's got a hard bottom uh, and a center console and a 30 horsepower Honda uh, four stroke engine. Uh, to me, it's, it's a premium quality dinghy. Uh, the boat's very well made, and I think as we're going to see here, uh, since Lisa and I are taking it out on our own, uh, it's very quick. So you may have seen it in a previous episode when we um, went to Caps in St. Augustine. Four of us rode in this dinghy. It was very comfortable and very, very fast. Well, so far the dinghy is handling very well. Uh, we have to go through a minimal wake zone uh, before we can open it up. Uh, just going over small wakes and so on, it seems to be very stable. So uh, it looks like it's just definitely a good prospect for us. Now we're uh, at the end of the zone, so we're gonna open it up. Okay, we're gonna go. Ready? jumped up very quickly uh, onto a plane. Uh, the just cruising speed is probably about 20 miles an hour with the top end of uh, the mid to high 30s. Uh, it's very, very fast and definitely would be great for us as far as carrying cargo back and forth from the marina uh, out to the boat and then also for exploring. Uh, so far this looks like a really good option. Uh, it's just a matter now as to whether or not my boat uh, we'll be able to carry it on the swim platform. Well, as luck would have it, a friend of ours is purchasing a nine foot uh, plastic dinghy from West Marine, uh, a little V-hull. So it'll give us an opportunity to see how uh, that boat uh, <laughs> runs and how it compares to um, a, uh, to an inflatable as far as stability and speed and cargo. Uh, the timing's perfect, so we're very excited to experiment with our friend today and, uh, and see how this boat does. So the great thing about being at a marina is there's always uh, some fellow boaters around that uh, are there to lend a hand. And in this case, we had uh, two friends of ours uh, help us launch this boat so that we can carefully put it in the water without scuffing it up. And um, we're successfully launched and now we're ready to put a six horsepower Mercury on it, which is the uh, maximum size outboard for this. And uh, we're going to see how well this dinghy handles. Of course, we picked one of the hottest days of the year to do this with the highest humidity. Um, but to me, this is the uh, most difficult part of having a, a dinghy 
on your boat that you cannot keep the motor attached to. Obviously, this is the first time we're putting this motor on, but when he, when he stores this, the motor is going to have to be removed every single time. And no matter how careful you are, uh, you're still leaning over the boat, uh, leaning over the water with, with an outboard, and it is cumbersome. Well, with the motor secured and safety gear aboard, we are ready to uh, take the dinghy out and see how well it does in comparison to other inflatables that we both had, as well as uh, the Carib that I was on. Uh, one of the first things we can tell you is that we are close to maximum capacity with three people aboard this boat. Uh, and. Uh, we did that on purpose because if you have even two people going back and forth to the marina, you're always going to be carrying gear. Uh, but with three people with the motor, we're right at maximum uh, weight capacity for this boat. Uh, first impression is it doesn't feel stable. Uh, it feels as though it's perfect for very, very, very calm good, water and going very slowly. Gotcha. But uh, anytime you yeah. uh, take it up to speed, even partially, uh, it, it really starts to feel squirrely and unstable. And I think that's partially due to the fact that it is a V-hull and then partially due to the fact that it is uh, just a very light uh, little boat. Well, none of us really felt comfortable in this boat. Uh, I think it was a quick decision that it was not a good purchase. I will tell you that uh, West Marine, uh, their return policy is amazing. We, as long as we didn't register the boat, we could return it, and we did for a full refund. So bravo to West Marine. Well, thanks for joining us today. Uh, it was fun going for the rides and uh, taking a look at what's available. Uh, I mean, really, at this point, I have to evaluate how I'm going to hook it up to my boat. I do have. Uh, hooks on the back uh, from Weaver, I think is the name of the company. Uh, but it looks like I'm probably not going to get a hard bottom uh, dinghy, but I, I will get a, uh, an inflatable of some sort, maybe with a hard bottom as a kind of a compromise. So um, we're going to go out there and continue to look and we'll keep you in the loop. And uh, thanks for watching. And until next time, lead an incredible life. Thanks.